Carolina Marin, the 2016 go. Olympic Carolina gold Marie. medalist and against China's the 2020 Jinfei. Olympic gold medalist. Both are former champions here at the All England Championships and both desperately eager to get a first title this year. Well, uh, this will be the 12th meeting between these t two players, as you can see, Red and Chen Fei has won six Red of the previous 11. Uh, but Carolina, Carolina Marin has won the last two encounters. The last two times they played, incidentally, were both at the World Tour Finals because we have a group round robin system and then a semi final. And these two met in the semi final in Hangzhou. Well, Carolina Marin is the number five seed. She's 30 years of age, born in Huelva in Spain, which is where we had the 2021 World Championship. And she is a three-time world champion, but she didn't actually play in her home world championships. Former world at number one, a total of 66 weeks at the top of the rankings. Six-time European champion. And this is only her second tournament of the year. Last week in France, she was beaten in the first round by Zhang Wen. Here this week, she has played Sung from Chinese Taipei, saved a game point in that second game. And then the 2022 Asian champion, Wang Qiyi of China. And that remarkably easily. And so to her opponent, the reigning Olympic champion, the number two seed, Chen Ufei, uh, turned 26 15 days ago. She is currently the world number two, and she, like her opponent, has been world number one. 13 consecutive weeks from the middle of December 2019, and it was 2019 where she won the All England title. She's actually been in three finals because she was beaten in the final in 2020 as defending champion and lost in the final again last year. Well, in the first round here in Birmingham, uh, she beat the beaten finalists from the recent German Open, Nguyen from Vietnam, and then Busanan Ongbangarangpan from Thailand came from 9-17 down in that first game to win it 22-20 and 21-16 in the second game. So the umpire calls for players to get ready for the start of play. Our umpire for this one is Amanda Bailam uh, from England and Jakob Sinberg from Denmark is the service judge. So Carolina Marin seen winning the last two encounters, both in Hangzhou at the World Tour Finals, but that must give her confidence coming into this. Yeah, I think so, and, and especially given the way she played yesterday, when she really found some form well, the first round and last week in Paris, that wasn't too uh, uh, comforting for, for the Spaniard. But, um, I also think Chen Fei has not been at her best in, in these two tournaments yet, even though she's won a straight game so far. So it's going to be interesting to see. Well, Chen Fei Ladies is and trying gentlemen, to reach her thirds. On my right, semi Carolina Marine, Spain. in her tournaments that year, and this on my year, left, that is. Cheng Yufei, China. <laughs> Carolina Marine to serve. Lovell, play. So Carolina Marin in her 10th All England Championships. Misses with her smash. Steen, I have to apologise once again. I wasn't paying attention for the toss of the coin. Who, who won the toss? Uh, Marine won the coin toss. And yeah. chose this end? Chose this end, yeah. Thank you.
just wide. Very, very early stages, Stephen, but it does look to me as if Carolina Marin is a little bit nervous. At the age of 30, and so many injury problems, ACL injuries to both knees, she must wonder, as everybody else wonders, whether this will be her last All England. some ways but on the other hand if you are still competitive if you can still be among the eight best in the world um, then why not I mean, uh, well depends a little bit on on life situation I think yeah it depends whether you're still enjoying it yeah. Of the day. I'm ready. The number two seed in the women's singles has won the last four All England titles. Wow. And Jennifer is the second seed in this tournament, of exactly. course. Exactly. Yeah. It's not totally unrealistic. No. It played itself into form. taking their time, it must be close. Oh, it caught the line. Good challenge. Well, she had a good year last year, did Carolina Marin. Seven finals from 18 tournaments played, winning two titles, the European Games gold medal and the Orléans Masters. And reached a, a fourth World Championship final, I think that was yes. an important um, accomplishment for her, even though she would have loved to win it, but there was no chance against them. Um, and and Seung in uh, complete top shape. Fernando Rivas, Carolina Marin's long-term coach. She, uh, I think you mentioned it, Jill, that uh, Marin was ill uh, during the uh, first tournament of, um, actually before Malaysia opened, just after New Year. And took some time to recover and uh, decided to stay home and uh, try to get in good shape. But she lost her racket. Oh, my goodness, man. We're seeing it all today, aren't we? That will uh, clearly diminish her chances if she's not able to hold on to the racket. Five and four. Whoops! <laughs> Tackled by uh, the floor. 
Yeah, in fact, Carolina Marin, you say she was ill for the first tournament. She pulled out of all three tournaments she was entered in, she in in Asia. The Malaysian Open, the India Open, and the Indonesia Masters. Uh, hence, only one previous tournament, and that was last week, the French Open. I think that might have been a wise decision if you haven't been able to practice because you've been, uh, you've been ill. Then going out playing tournaments uh, at full speed that could have uh, very easily uh, resulted in an injury. Nice. And here we can see in, in this rally, here we can see why Chen Fei has. Um, we can't actually see it because she's actually played quite well. She lost um, last week. Did she lose in the semi-final last week in uh, in Paris? It was close. No, she, um, yes, she lost in the semi-final to Akane Yamaguchi, who then lost in the final. Uh, and you can obviously lose to Yamaguchi, but she hasn't been convincing. And here we saw why, because the, the pace and speed of movement is, is um, not at her very best. I think there's a jolly good reason for that. I don't know whether you saw any of the pictures on social media, uh, but uh, she's got huge problems with her right foot. Yeah, blisters. Blisters. Severe blisters. Yeah. Both on the big toe and on the ball of the foot. Yeah. So, obviously makes, oh, there's also a strapping on the uh, right thigh, I think. Makes quick direction changes and so on, challenging. Oh, that's long. That's a pity from a Carolina Marin perspective because Chenny Fay was absolutely nowhere near that. Slightly position, better position than me to see that sideline. Yeah, and I think with all of the calls we make from up here, we're not, we're not really willing to risk anything on it because no. we're so far away. Lucky I, I <laughs> just got that in. <laughs> you just said that in time. Seven six. It was all four top seeds that were in the semi-final last week. It was, and it's and uh, possible it could happen. Uh, of course, Chen Fei needs to win this yeah. one, but it could happen again. And one of the things she has going for her is that she's very hard to beat, even when not at um, her very best. She started out uh, yesterday against Busanan by falling quite a bit behind. Still nine, nine seventeen. Yeah, still managed to come back and, um, and win the first game and finish it in, in straight games.
Harris, cross court net. Again. So when, when Marin, when she sort of uh, is alert to the fact that perhaps her opponents are a little bit hurt and so on, then and, um, and she's she's in she must be the freshest of the uh, top eight because she hasn't played those tournaments in in January. So um, I think she's also perhaps a little bit sort of like talking so much about the fabulous four, and she's not one of them. And she says, Give me yeah. two new two new knees, and I'll show you. Yeah. That's extraordinary, many uh, yeah. errors from uh, Chen Yufei on that back line. Especially if she's hitting against the drift. Sideways drift when you're playing down the Chen Fei backhand side from the near end of the court. That's wide as well. Wide. Oh, there's a challenge here before challenges. we go to the game interval. Challenge from Chen Fei. Well, the one-minute timeout won't start until we've got the instant review decision. Here we go. Indeed, it was out. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge so it remaining. is Carolina Marin who has so the one-point advantage here in the game into of the opening game. Style. Yeah, that's that's not surprising. Um, she hasn't really attacked at all, um, and I think I'm not sure she um, she has the goods to do it uh, today. But I think she must pretend that she has, and I, 
by by uh, by saying that I mean that I don't think she continuously can win on attacking, but I think she needs to make some stings at Marin's defense, otherwise she gets too comfortable. Like oh, that was that was a great one. Yeah, that's exactly what he wanted. Loy Gang on the right as we look at them. I think Chiao Bin, the other coach, is in ten. Steen? I'm not sure, that might be, you might be right. Nice. He read it, uh, again, too short from Marin. But that's what he was asking for. Yes. Take the, when you get an opportunity, and the opportunity is there to attack. And also perhaps risk a little bit. Uh, if you think you've got to read, then believe in it and see if you can uh, save any other reply from Marin if it's not where you hope it is. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Spassing off from the net there, Chen Ufait. Yeah. We, we saw uh, the ones who followed the uh, early session today, so perhaps hoping Jao play, and she was definitely hurting in her left um, ankle uh, Achilles, and so she slipped forward, and uh, that's really painful, but she just kept on. Uh, even though you could see that she was in, in a bit of pain, kept soldiering on, trying to make the most of it, and almost got the better of uh, Tai Su Ying. Well, there's been two Chinese players who have lost in quarter-final matches already today in the women's singles discipline. And Yue lost out to the defending champion, Ang Se Young. 14, 12. And as you've just mentioned, Her Bing Jia losing out to three-time former champion, Tai Su Ying. Too much for Chen Yufei. That came off the frame. Jamming attacking shot in the end from Marin. That's a good push from the net. No, she didn't follow up on it, Marin. No, and now, just like she's been trying all the game, but, but now um, Tina Fey is making Marin score her own points, but with that little uncertainty that if she's inaccurate in the back line, then there's an attack. And, um, that might as well work, at least in the first game.
brilliant. Jamming smash at Chen Ufei. the first one that really did the damage. Point advantage and three points away from the opening game. Carolina Barrett. Oh, was very animated as a player. The left hand up. Yeah, both with shouting, but also with talking to herself in yeah. between the rallies. She must be one of the players who. That's the most words spoken in the match. Oh, brilliant. What a backhand cross court matchup. That was absolutely superb. There wasn't an awful lot of room to work with. Chenu Fei was waiting for a next shot reply, but she wasn't waiting for the cross court one. <laughs> nice block. Good pressure. Nice. One of the best rallies that um, Chen Fei has played in this first game, in my opinion. 16. Look how she hovers around the net, waiting for another net shot in reply. There, her mother on the right.
good pace from Marin. Oh, she's staying in balance, controlling the rallies. On her second game point opportunity, Carolina Marin converts and takes the opening game. 21-17. Twenty-seven minutes. Well, the umpire was just about to call for play when Carolina Marin decided she wanted a new shuttle for the start of this second game. Contrast with Chenny Fei. She's looking more and more dispirited. Yeah, yeah, I mean, 
it's not it's not a big surprise because she's she's been moving a bit slower uh, in this European uh, swing here. The matches I've seen, she's been struggling to uh, put away players that she's normally um, considerably better than. And as you mentioned, you you have problems with your feet, and it's I mean, you, you can't really do anything. No. just having to react. And the problem is Chenu Fei normally is a really strong retriever and likes to play long rallies and so on, but if you're a little bit behind in pace, then you just fall more and more behind as long as your opponent isn't making any mistakes and the more confident in the ring grows, the less of mistakes I think we see from her. Good defense. Problems on the back line, uh, Chen Fei. I think she's made four mistakes or something. Well, finally, that run comes to an end. But ten straight points for a 10 1 lead is quite remarkable against the. Reigning Olympic champion. has gotten three points closer to winning it. The match has lasted how many minutes? 34. 34, and she's three minutes, three points closer to winning. Now it's four. So there's a lot of work ahead of Huge uh, amount of work. Jennifer. To rallies. No. No Chinese. Well, if there was ever a player that you wouldn't give up on on the possibility of getting back into a match, I think Chen Yufei would be right up there near the top of a player you'd want on your side, wouldn't you? Yeah, yeah exactly. When was it when was ahead of Ratchin of one year? Was it 18, 10? 
I think it was 1911. 1911. I think you're right, 1911 took 10 straight points. Ratchinuk. Brilliant. Super play by uh, Chen Fei. And Marine's got problem scoring at the moment. Yeah, it was the slice initially from Chen Fei straight down the line that set herself up. Six straight points for Chen Fei. It's going wide. Yes. Man, look how short it was, too, Steve. Now I'm suddenly all confidence <laughs> has disappeared. It doesn't take many rallies for that to happen. She was 10 2 up, wasn't she? No, she was 10 1 up. 10 1, wow. Chen Fei on one of eight straight points. smash and it means that Carolina Marin will indeed have the advantage at the mid-game interval in the second game but it's only a two-point advantage considering she was 10-1 up and she might be a little disappointed by that It's absolutely imperative that this lady continues to find her form from when 110 down to get back to 910 was a very good start indeed. Nice follow up. Oh, 
más atenta a la red con el teléfono, porque antes ha hecho muchos fallos de, de fuera. Entonces, no te va a hacer mucho... Claro. Well, there's people taking the pictures with a flashlight on their phones. And that, I guess, is because the quarterfinal on the adjoining court, court number two, has just finished with Laksha Sin coming through a three game thriller against Nisi Chia. getting a little bit irritated by the amount of time that Carolina Marin is wasting. That's right. Oh, that's the lift from the front court that's way, way too short. She can't find the correct length. Marin and uh, Chenny Fay exploiting it. level that is remarkable from 110 adrift and it basically shows why you should never ever sort of um, loosen your grip on a match because even if Marin should end up winning this one then it will have hurt her confidence yeah no, simple put away that was a loose neck shot from Chen Fei. First to work being a coach. Yeah. Yeah. Too easy for her. She's become much better. Nice block. Yes. It becomes, I know that's a winning form of win, but it's stereotype. It smashes, it's fast paced smashes all the time. Two drop shots in the same corner would do the trick against uh, Chen Fei, the way I see it. Fantastic retrieval, uh, even though she doesn't get the last one over. The reigning Olympic champion. single shot towards the back of the no, court in exactly. that run.
That's a lovely placement, has to be said, from Chen Yufei. 13-15. Everybody's ready to play. Play? Yeah. Thank you. It's absolutely ridiculous. Play must be continuous. That's the rule of badminton. So it's over. 16. He looks pretty confident, actually, doesn't he? Fernando Rivas. Yeah, he, he should. I mean, uh, if Marin looks out at her coach and sees a coach that's in distress, that's that's not helping her. Today. Yeah, but, but she should do that regularly because she's an attacking player, so she has to be strong at the net. I think at the moment what actually is bothering Marine the most is the thought about uh, having a 10-1 lead let go. I think that's that's the thought about it is, is a much bigger problem than the game, actually, I think. So, in other words, she's thinking to herself, I can't possibly lose a game that I was leading. A match. 11, uh, 10 1. Yeah. Oh dear. A doctor on court to see to Chen and Fei. That right side is heavily strapped or got a support on. It's more the hit area. Carolina. shaking her leg after that run. Yeah. We said it earlier, she's hard to beat.
Marsh has found the line. Oh, it's called out. Oh, that's a completely wrong call. I think actually the line judge corrected themselves. Uh, yeah. uh, because, well, you know, from my reaction, I thought that was that's a in, wonderful in, shot. The line, I think. Oh, come on the line. Two tantalizing points from the semi final once more. The former champion. Opportunities for Carolina Marin, 20, match point. champion 15. here nine years ago, is on the verge of victory against the reigning Olympic champion and number two seed, Chen Fei. to her opponent and dictated the pace. Yeah, there, there was just that little um, glitch there from 10-1 up. But, um, impressive performance again today. Yeah, it certainly was converted on her first match point opportunity. 55 minutes for her victory. My goodness, she worked hard. And the reward, her place in the semi-final, putting out the number two seed, 21-17, 21-15. She won't worry about her little graze now that she's in the semi-final. What a final rally. Absolutely brilliant. A moment of victory. The realization. Well, she has to be awfully careful about falling down on those knees of hers, having had ACL surgery on both of them. Uh, she's absolutely fine. And she will play against the three-time former champion and number three seed, Tai Su Ying, in tomorrow's semi-final.
So welcome back to Birmingham. Evening here. Just about uh, coming up half past seven in the evening. And the wonderful sights and sounds of Birmingham. That's New Street. I've been there every day to get a sandwich. So it's quarterfinals day here at the Yonex All England Championships. And next up, it's the last of the four quarterfinals in the men's singles. Jonathan Christie against the number two seed, Shi Uchi. Well, as far as the men's singles draw is concerned, well, Lakshya Sen has come through a 